I got mud in my mouth. Put off an inch of mud, then my then my foot sucked down into it. It kept on going. I had to like yank it out. Man down, man down. Davis is going with the leopard print look today. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Almost, <laughs> Almost fell. <laughs> the tiniest room ever. Yeah. Good afternoon guys, I am Abby, this is Ryan, and you're watching Lost Among Locals. Welcome! We are still in Turkey, and this afternoon we are at a small village called Kayakoy? Kayakoy, yeah. Kayakoy. It is an old Greek settlement here in the southwestern part of Turkey. It has been abandoned for quite some time, but there's supposed to be like some really cool old yeah, really good churches. Yeah, and some just really good, really good preserved ruins. So, let's go. So apparently this town was deserted in 1923 during a population exchange. I don't know anything about that. I'll let Kristen tell you about it. Well, she probably knows. <laughs> well, Greeks and Turks have been enemies for a very, very long time. And it sounds like there was just basically a, yeah, a population exchange. They kicked all the Greek people out of Turkey and all the Turkey people or Turkish people were forced to leave Greece. They gave up things like their only home that they'd had for generations upon generations. Sad. Yeah. Not cool people. Learn to get along. Everybody. Be nice. Oh, this would be one epic place to play capture the flag. I don't know. All those type games, this would be amazing. I'm gonna have to trade in my travel partners. I one with a bum knee, an ice pack, another one with a shin splint, and back pain. You I'm, to too, with young people. I'm too young and cool for these old folks. I need some new people. Whatever, Wheezy. <laughs> okay, okay, I might need an inhaler, but shut it. So this place is very kind of eerie and kind of sad because you, when you know the history of what happened here when they got you know forced to leave with the population exchange with Greece and you can just see all these houses and you can almost envision the kids running around and playing and the you know the moms and grandmas sitting at the doors yelling at them not being so loud and it's just crazy because it's a huge area it's bigger than what we thought I mean, it's beautiful, but it's also very eerie, very, I don't know, it's very like, kind of sad hmm. and cool. Ugh, graffiti. People, we talked about this. Stop it. Stop it. It's rude. Hey guys, we are here at Saklikent National Park. Yes, I think so, yeah. And it's super reminiscent of like the Narrows uh -huh. at Zion. Um, Most definitely, Narrows. Yes. But we're going to have a better trip this time because if you guys remember our Zion trip, it was not a good day. Yeah. We'll link it up here for you if you want to go watch the disaster that was us hiking the uh -huh. Narrows. But anywho, today's going to be much better. We've got our fancy water shoes which we probably got scammed on, but you know, what is. But the little Turkish lady was super sweet and she gave she us a free apple. apple. Yeah, so sweet. we counted as good. Yeah. Plus she was just really adorable. This canyon gorge thing is awesome. So I think we have about a five kilometer hike up so. this gorge. Yeah. Davis probably knows more about it than I do. Uh, I really, honestly, I didn't do a whole lot of research on it. 
there was just a spot that y'all said we should go. So we came here. We're gonna see how wet we're gonna get. We don't really have any clue where we're in for. So we're on an adventure today. We're going on an adventure. This is exactly like the Narrows at Zion. Like you show up, it's beautiful. There's a bazillion people at the entrance. And then you start to hike up the gorge and it looks like there's probably very few people actually up there. And I'm not prepared for how cold this is going to be. That's gonna be a negative for me, Ghost Rider. It is freezing and it's not warm out here. I just took a big step and flicked water all up my butt. It is so cold. It's not gonna get any less painful, so. My goodness. It's so cold. Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? I don't feel my feet anymore. No. It doesn't hurt you. Okay, good news. If you can get through the first part, the rest of the water's warm. I don't know if it's fish pee or human pee or just not the waterfall, but it's way warmer. Don't do it like that. That was very weird and awkward. I don't even know what I was doing. That was a little more graceful than what I did. <laughs> Watch for falling rocks. Or in that case, a falling boulder. So that thing is huge. That is a big rock. That 
bag gum. I hear a lot of water from somewhere. Alright Sam, we, we, we conquered the we conquered the trail. We conquered the trail. We conquered the trail to a muddy waterfall. <laughs> that kinda looked like poop coming out. But it was still pretty cool. Yeah. considering that we had no idea how pretty this was going to be, I think this is a big one. Yeah, absolutely. you guys that is it for the best 24 oh hours my goodness. ever yes so we went to a turkish bath last night we did not show you guys that because well everybody yeah. was buck yeah. naked so we Don't, can't really yeah. do that nope. very well but we got the scrub down got rid of all the dead skin feeling all exfoliated and beautiful oh yeah got soaked up and scrubbed and so i've never seen so much skin come off my body when that guy was scrubbing that's disgusting darling oh well still yeah, yeah happened super then clean. this morning we got to go paragliding which was then, absolutely amazing holy cow yep. and then finished off the afternoon here at sakla kent park hiking the gorge yeah this gorge wow it was beautiful it, it reminded us of zion yeah it looks a lot like zion in the, the States, canyons but, and just really really yeah. beautiful um, and it was super cheap. It was like 10 lira. Yeah. Yeah. Really 10, 10 lira to get in, uh -huh. which is a little more than a dollar, a dollar fifty, and like 15 to park. So and it was a couple a, bucks to park. And it was a fairly easy oh, little hike that going up yeah. into it. So it wasn't yeah. too strange. So you walked, you got muddy, and, yeah. and so, but it still was. Absolutely beautiful yes. place. Worth every penny and every mile, mile driven. Yep. All right. We don't know what's next. Good morning, guys. We are here today at the ancient ruins of Myra. They are close to current day Demra in Turkey, and it is the capital city of the ancient region of Lycia. So, there are some incredible mountain tombs here that you can see behind me. We're going to go check all of those out, but um, that's all I got for you for now. Let's go. So 
So the theater here is from approximately in the 500s BC, they think that's when most of this settlement was built. Um, and it seats about 10,000 people, so it's a big one. And it looks very well preserved. It I is. mean, yeah. this is pretty well intact. This is the, this is the um, one of the only ancient theaters I've ever been in that you can actually see the Greek theater part of it is preserved. Like where the actors were, the stage area, that kind of thing there, like the kind of back area, backstage area is pretty preserved. So that's kind of cool to see. What, what play did you, you rehearse? Scene three, act four. Scene three, act four, and go. Three, he's lightning. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> if you're gonna get a play out of me, it's gonna be some weird musical, cause that's all I got. <laughs> Uh, I don't really know any Shakespeare, so probably just gonna get like Greece. <laughs> I could do cabaret. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this theater is steeper than the rest of them. So like even up here at the way top and the cheap seats, you're really not that far away for a 10,000 seater. Like I feel like this one you'd have a good seat no matter where you were at. It's pretty yeah, great. Not a bad seat in the house. Mm -mm. Exactly how a theater should be. Mm -hmm. You're such a dork. <laughs> So they said most of these tombs are from the 4th century to 5th century BC and they know this because weirdly in the ancient world almost all of these tombs were marked and dated and had inscriptions in them so thanks guys. That's all folks. Time to move on. Pomegranate juice. Freshly squeezed. Yeah. It's tasty. I found the real life foghorn leghorn. I've never seen a chicken that looks like this in my life. So part of our road trip, we decided we wanted to go to a beach. So we looked up, found this little cute little beach on the side. It's got a big cave, just a place to relax for a little while. It's been a couple hours just chilling by the water. So let's go for a swim. How are we gonna get down there? Uh, I think there's some stairs right down here, right by where all these cars are parked. It looks like there's a little walkway. So there's a little sea cave over on the side on the left over here and so Kristen and Ryan are going out to explore. I've been relegated to watching the wallet and the camera duty so JM! Oh, this, this cave is really cool. Chris came over with me. Abby stayed with the stuff. It was kind of a hard swim <laughs> holding the selfie stick and swimming and the waves hitting you in the face, but we got we made it. It's a cave inside a cave.
you guys this room. This room is like the tiniest room ever. Yeah. <laughs> With three beds crammed in here. And to get out the door, you gotta come over that bed. Yeah. And yeah. We are here in Antalya this morning in Southwest Turkey to see Hadrian's Gate, among some other things. This gate was built in 131 AD, and it probably is the most intact Roman gate I've ever seen. Usually they're like the first things to get blown up, and cannon hit, and all the other things, but this one is super intact. It's really beautiful. Antalya has an old town that has lots of pedestrian streets, all these old like Ottoman style homes that sometimes we think they look like saloons, uh, and then an uh, old harbor. And there's of course ruins and and uh, sites scattered everywhere throughout it. So and it's pretty extensive. You can wander around for a long time. This is the Derelict Tower. It's a mausoleum from the first or second century. And obviously it was an important person buried here, they don't know who, but because of location. And also because there's 12 axes on the door of the mausoleum, which the sign, handy dandy sign over there said, means it was someone who was on the Roman council. So, Roman council person, tomb. Alright guys, we are here at the ancient city of Hierapolis in Anatolia. It is dated back to at least the 2nd century BC and is a Greek city, but they think there might have actually been a temple here for the nearby city of Laodicea as early as like 7th century BC. So there are a lot of tombs and mausoleums here in the city. It's very, very close, like rock throwing distance to the modern pools of Pamakale. So you kind of get a two for one when you come here. Um, but it has the tomb of Philip the Apostle and one of the Marcus Aurelius guys. I don't think it's like the Marcus Aurelius because he has a third name. I'm not sure. can't really find good information. But there are lots of really cool sarcophagi here and a pretty, pretty big historical city. So let's go see what we find. So as you can probably tell by the state of some of these mausoleums, Hierapolis was destroyed by two earthquakes. You found the potty? Yep. You guys need to take a mutual poo again? No, you're good. There's two lollygaggers back there. Oh, wow. That's pretty intense. Wow. you guys we have finally made it to Pemacale so unfortunately we made a big boo boo yeah we did we did not realize that the ticket to Pemacale and Hierapolis are on the same entrance pass so once we scanned in we couldn't scan out so we actually planned on leaving getting dressed getting my swimsuit on and coming back to Pemacale for photos and stuff either tomorrow or late this afternoon but we couldn't do that no. so we couldn't leave and come back in nope. 
and it's a really long ways to the car. Yes, it so is. So we had to buy a new swimsuit and um, a new swimsuit cover. And so yeah, now we're gonna head into the pool. So Pemakale is in Anatolia in Turkey. It is a series of natural pools that just like fall off the cliffside in these beautiful white columns and crystal blue water. Yeah. Super, super amazing. And let's go check it out. All these people in the drainage ditch. It looks like it should be like it looks like it should be super soft, but it's not. It's hard, and you would think it'd be really slippery because it looks really slick, but it's not. It's actually pretty grippy. Like you don't you don't feel like there's slip unless you step on a green patch, which is the moss cover. Then it's slippery. We've seen several people fall, so yes, definitely be careful on the kind of a darker color one, but the light colored stuff. Because you don't be... want to fall down there. That. Yeah. That would be no bueno. Come sit with me. I don't want to. <laughs> it's not cold. It feels good. I promise. It's cold. It is not. Stop being a wiener. Almost, <laughs> Almost fell. <laughs> Slippery. Well, we enjoyed this pool for a long time with, with 50,000 of our closest friends. And now, get a little hungry. It's time to go. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Stay tuned for our turkey road trip part three next week when we go to our favorite tiny Turkish town of Guzelyurt and see the amazing rock cave homes and we take a hike in Ilara Canyon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to follow us over on TikTok and Instagram. Now get lost.